In this video, here is what I intend to do against any random chess player on leeches. If pawn to d4, I'm gonna play my universal system where I always go pawn to c5 after something like c4. But if pawn to e4 is played, I'm going to play my top recommendation, the check system beginning with knight f6. And after something like knight c3, I'll play pawn to c6, which is officially the check system and not the perk. And from here, my main plan will always be as follows. First, I'll go queen a5, pinning the knight to the king and also threatening to take on e4. Next, I'll play pawn to e5 and then thirdly, take on d4, then later put my queen on b6. This is my main plan. Queen a5, e5, e takes d4, then queen b6. That's what I also said in my tutorial video. You can watch that after watching this video. Now, let's get into the games. Right, I'm playing against a 24-12 rated opponent. And here goes the check defense. Knight c3, pawn to c6. So, I said just play pawn to c6 in this position. And there we see the top plate move pawn to a4, as we saw in my tutorial video. So the plan is to go queen a5. Then our second key move will be pawn to e5, followed by e takes d4. That, that'll be our third key move. And then lastly, we'll play queen b6 to stop white from developing his dark squad bishop due to queen takes b2. So queen a5 first pinning the knight to the king and also threatening to take on e4 with our king's knight. There we see bishop d3 defending the pawn and then this is the right time for me to go pawn to e5. Remember, so our plan remains consistent. So e5 wanting to take on d4 next in case. Okay, so there we see d takes e5. I covered this in my tutorial video. It's never a good idea for white to take on e5, by the way. Either d takes or f takes, that's not a good idea. And knight f3. Yeah, let me go queen b6 now. Queen b6 stops white from developing his dark squad bishop cause of queen takes b2. But let me just go bishop g4, pinning the knight to the queen. This is another way you can punish white. Next, I have knight fd7. Yeah, so f takes e5, I don't have to take with my queen. Knight fd7 is the move. I need to take on e5 with my knight, any of my knights. That's what I said in my tutorial video. And there we see point to e6, some kind of a candidate move, but I can just take back with my bishop, I guess. Yep, bishop takes e6, so that I do not uh, mess up my pawn structure on the king's side. There we see bishop d2, but I have bishop b4 if I want. Or maybe I can just go queen b6 or queen c7. Yeah, like you always have queen c7 whenever you run into any sort of trouble. There we see queen e2. I can go knight e5 now. Knight e5, if knight takes, I'll take back with my queen. Besides, I have bishop d6, given a chance in case of bishop f4. And this is another beauty of uh, playing the check defense, you guys, because like for instance here, I can just castle long if I want to. It's just easy to run away from the kingside pawn storm. So white played king b1. I guess I can just castle long here. So no need to worry about the kingside pawn storm. That's another beauty of playing the check system. Because you always leave an option to castle long if things go sour. So bishop e6. Yeah, bishop e6. My bishop is very active along this diagonal. There we see bishop f4 finally. Bishop b4 first. I could have played bishop d6 if I wanted, but... My knight on e5 is well defended. There are many defenders protecting that knight. So bishop b4. Knight d4. Can I take on c3 or maybe... Oh, my last squad bishop. I almost hanged my bishop on e6. <laughs> Anyways, so now I can take on c3 if white doesn't do anything about that. And play rook e8 next. I mean rook h8. Let's see what white is going to do. So again, my e5 knight is well defended and I have an option to take on c3 with my dark squad bishop. Mm -hmm. Whoa, is that a sacrifice? Let me just take, yeah, like knight cb5 is just a mistake. I don't see anything in this position for white. What was the purpose of sacrificing the knight? 
a3 well i have bishop c5 what was the purpose of sacrificing the knight i think uh, white was just uh, overconfident maybe oh the fact that he is a 24 12 rated player he started underrating me thinking maybe he was going to flag me or something i don't just understand the purpose of uh, sacrificing the knight on b5 anyways let's just continue and see what else my opponent has prepared for me i don't just see anything here i will just play point to a3 next and i'm sure my opponent is now realizing that he just made a blunder there was no need to sacrifice a knight on b5 okay b4 a6 yeah this is okay i thought i blundered as well <laughs> okay point takes knight takes mm -hmm. the knight is still pinned to the king i'll just take it with my a pawn so i don't need to worry about anything bishop takes e5 i think i can take back with my pawn first yep because the b knight is still pinned queen g4 check i just have to block with my last squad bishop the queen is under attack now i can take the knight oh queen takes e5 okay i missed that but is this still fine oh i'm running low on time i need to be very fast i think i'll do less of commentary mm. what oh okay bishop bishop d7 need to be very fast you guys so i'll do uh less of commentary okay the queen is gone now let's take the rook knight c3 check knight takes check then check ah uh, five seconds ah uh, no no four seconds okay let me just start removing yeah take everything everything ah oh, okay wow that was so close you guys my opponent wanted to flag me but i did justice that was going to be one of the most painful games but anyways so you saw how i managed my time and how i played my check system just like i said you also have an option to cast along should things go out of your plan so once again i highly recommend that you try out the check defense or the check system whenever you play my universal system beginning with pawn to d6 against the queen's pawn game. Other better alternatives that I recommended in my last two videos were the rat defense, like after d4 you play d6, and then if pawn to e4 you go knight d7, followed by pawn to e5. Or you can transpose the game back to the knight off after c5 and c takes d4. And you always have an option to stick to your perk defense or your purest defense if you think all oh, this is trash. Right. And before I show you some more and more interesting stuff, Allow me to thank all of my patrons and all of you guys who purchased my new E5 defense course, which is now complete. Obviously, which teaches you how to beat the Scotch, the Italian game, the Bishop's opening, the Vienna game, and other minor openings under E4. Back to the video. Right, so this time I'm playing against a 2014 rated opponent. And there we see D4 again. Time to play the check system with my pawn to C6 move. Let's see what white is going to do. Knight c3, c6. Next, queen a5 is coming. Oh, queen a5. And now we see point to a4 once again. The top played move. So you can see that this is what most people play. So queen a5, pawn to e5, e takes d4, then queen b6 is my main plan. So queen a5 first, pinning the knight to the king and also threatening to take on e4 so there we see bishop d3 uh, defending the e4 pawn e5 is my second key move i mean in in my main plan why should not take my e5 oh god so d takes e5 once again <sighs> so uh, this is what i said in my tutorial video you guys why shouldn't take on e5 either with his d pawn or his f pawn because of you know d takes e5 and now I don't have to take back with my queen because queen takes e5 runs into knight f3. So you have to take on e5 with your knight. And that's why knight g4 makes a lot of sense in this position. Let me play that. Knight g4. If knight f3, that's when I'm going to take back on e5 with my knight, not my queen. Okay? 
So that's what we do. Bishop f4, I didn't expect this. Most people play knight f3, developing knights first before developing bishops, right? I can still take on e5, but bishop c5 makes a lot of sense. They're getting the knight on uh, g1. This is a tactical move, by the way. And there are a lot of tactics that I can see in this position. Not only is my knight defended, but if bishop g3 comes, I have queen b6. Now we see knight f3, something I didn't expect to see because I have bishop f2 check or even better knight f2. Yep, knight f2, double attacking the rook and the queen on d1. Now we see queen e2, but I can just take, yeah, I can just take on h1, taking the rook and next I'll play knight f2, knight back to f2. So I'm just up a piece, you guys, for nothing. So this is how powerful the check defense can be, you guys. So knight takes d3 check. Yeah, I expected to see that. Now castle short. And next I'll just continue playing normal chess. So if I was selfish, I would have ended the video right here. But let me just do something here. Pawn b6. Next I want to play bishop a6, taking the rook on f1. But you guys, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. It's not just good seeing you watching. So a3 allows bishop a6 and my plan comes to life. If b4 I have queen takes a3 check and so I can take the rook, the free rook on f1. So after queen takes, I can now sacrifice my bishop on a3 because if pawn takes I have queen takes c3. So this is what I'm talking about you guys. Oh, first I can start with queen takes a3 check because I have rook d8 in the near future should white go to d2 so queen takes oh my opponent just resigned before I could even you know execute my plan so I wanted to go rook d8 next and then take that knight on uh, c3 so uh, that was queen takes a3 check king d2 and then rook d8 check then wherever the king goes i take the knight on c3 so that was my initial plan you guys and hey just like i said remember to hit the like button subscribe to this uh, channel if you haven't already it's not good to just watch my videos you guys this is how you support this channel by the way now time for you to go and check out my new e5 defense course which i have also linked in the comment section down below and i'm glad to say so far it has received a lot of attention and people are getting it like crazy so it's an opening response that you try against white's e4 opening you're going to learn how to play against the scorch, the royal pairs, the bishops opening, three knights opening, the four knights game, the Vienna game, even the Italian game. So it's the complete E5 defense course that I just launched with my team. You better go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.